And so, you're a Balrog. Yep. D&D refers to it as a Balor. Mm. Um, one, of them, one of them anyway. Yes. Sort of superheated uh, body of with a superheated body. Think think the Balrog from uh, from Lord of the Rings, just less smoky. Mm. Indeed, but with equally a bad temper. No, no, I think it's actually... I think the Balors are actually worse. Yeah. Nice. Now... <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. You guys got into a couple of heavy fights yesterday, or last week rather. Uh, in first involving four uh, cambions, which uh, were a little bit too much for you. So I kind of toned down the encounter so you would actually so you would you not get utterly curb stomped. Yes, you did still kill one. Nearly took another. Oh. Indeed. I almost had which, it. <laughs> which just goes to show how freaking powerful you are. Um you met up with a uh, a detachment of Cyrian knights. Like these are full on plate mail elite elite soldiers. You rode to the uh, Cathedral of Saint Thomas, uh, which if you want to see pictures of, we're in the campaign pictures. <clears throat> uh, yep, I saw them. Yep, beautiful white marble cathedral. Very uh, nice. Inside is very in. There's a lot of gold and uh, even some platinum woven in, but it's very it's very delicate and very tasteful. It's not gaudy in any way, shape, or form. Mm. Mm. Um, as be beautiful as these places should be. Exactly. Exactly. Um, you found a dead Baylor on the inside. Okay. Uh, Oh, on the outside, you fought several orc warriors and cultists. Uh, one of which was mounted. Uh, one of which was mounted upon a trained triceratops as a siege engine. Holy shit! Living yeah. battering ram. Yeah, it was armor. It had barding, and its its horns and frill and stuff were armored and reinforced. So it was going to be a living siege engine. Um, okay. It was a very pitched battle going back and forth until right around the time when you guys tipped the balance. Uh, several of the uh, sieging orcs just sort of fell to a daze, and the Cyrian knights the, the Cyrian knights overwhelmed them. Um, there were there were casualties. <clears throat> Wow. From the knights, but uh, the orcs were basically killed to a man. To the mm -hmm. last man. Uh, right around this time, the Triceratops' head was Clean. severed. Severed. Oh, and that says nothing of the cultists. <laughs> Shit. You guys, you guys tore the cultists a new one. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. But around oh, the... Around the time that the, the, the Triceratops' head was severed and several of the orcs were just stunned, um, you ultimately won the battle mm -hmm. and you discovered that not just uh, Min South but Queen Mira were both there. Presumably, mm -hmm. Mira was the one who de presumably the queen was the one who decapitated the trike, and from what little you know, 
Min South did some funky mind juju to stun the uh, to stun the orcs. Yeah, 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 that's right. Because he's the mind flayer, isn't he? Yes, he is a mind flayer. Oh, fantastic! And he's and also Min the South one is turning out to be a very valuable <clears throat> ally. I like him. Yeah. I really. Like him. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, because he's also helping um, to, I believe, build the the contraption. He is under. He is taught like he is one of the few people that could be considered smarter than Senku. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, but that is neither here nor there. You guys went we in. You found some. Very disturbing yeah. info. You guys went in. You found the dead uh, uh, Baylor. You were instructed by one of the. Uh, you were instructed by someone in the in the cathedral to seek out um, uh, Archbishop Julian Luna, who has been who uh, has been expecting you, Julian. or was told to expect you. Um, you ultimately, like, the first floor is, is all, is the main, uh, is the main area of worship. The second floor, <clears> which <throat> is really, like, three floors up, is a huge library. Oh. Um, there's a balcony, and, and you, uh, got to one sort, you got to one balcony, area uh and found a row of uh, living quarters until you got to the far end of that which is right near the front of the cathedral one of the bell towers yeah. just below one of the bell towers rather and um the door opened and this was the residence uh, the resident uh the, the residential residence of Julian Luna. Bleh, I can't speak tonight. <laughs> Julian <laughs> Luna. Yes, he is the he is an archbishop. Julian Luna, archbishop. Okay. Yep. Um. And he gave you a lot of. Uh, he, he gave you a lot of information. Some of it was good, others, well, yeah, the symbol that you've and been seeing, the eye with uh, the squirrels and stuff, is known as the Elder Elemental Eye. It is the personal symbol to the highest air elemental, Yan Sibin. Rushed. Which, uh... Prince of Air Elementals. Yes. Elder Elemental Light, okay. And, uh, just, what was the name again, Sen? Uh, yeah. Yan, Y-A-N, yeah. hyphen C, the letter C, hyphen yep. in. In. Okay. Got that. Um... Yasin. Yan Sibin. Yeah. Is actually how it's pronounced. Okay. Uh, and he's no he, he's known as uh he's known under, uh, under several other titles including including the Lord of Evil Flying Creatures, the Howling Hatred, uh Evil Prince of Air Elementals, uh just to name a few. Okay, so a thoroughly nice guy then. Not really, but yeah. <laughs> sarcasm. I, I sense your sarcasm. <laughs> and uh, we also found something interesting. A potential uh, Lamata ta Pesta something. Yes. Lam -ta -pesta. Um, Yes, none of you could figure out uh, how to. None of you can figure out how to properly pronounce the word, but you, you did hear it right in the, 
um, second, right in the first or second game session, and uh, intelligence checks allowed Perrin and it was company me to that remember, was, yeah. fundamentally how to remember it, and uh, because you didn't remember it a hundred percent and could not pronounce it, uh, he or Julian wrote the name down, but wrote it as best he could from your descriptions of it. And it will take him some time to research, but he is going to research it. Yep. Okay. So. Yep. So. Ah, so Julian then is doing some research for us. Indeed. Yep. Fantastic. Damn. Uh, and we left where Julian sort of clapped his hands together and said, uh, you all being the party have a banquet to attend best and best not to keep the queen waiting um okay, so that's uh queen mira and at the moment we are in Thomas cathedral Yes. Yes, you're in the Cathedral of St. Thomas. St. Thomas. Okay. I think I'm with you all guys again. Yeah. Thanks, right. for, the, thanks for the heads up. Oh, and we've also, just, we've also determined a common thread. That everywhere we go to get information, something has attacked the places of knowledge. This is also true. Yep. Hmm. Yeah. Indeed. But this time, it didn't work. Right, because this time you had, quite frankly, unexpected and, um, if I'm going to be frank, ridiculously powerful backup. Indeed. <laughs> Plus, we were on fire, especially me and Perrin. Yes, we were. Me and Perrin last night were just... <laughs> oh yeah, you guys were killing it. All of you were. Yeah. All of you were absolutely wrecking house. Brilliant. This is so cool. <laughs> Indeed. Just the fact that we were we almost we killed one Cambion and killed another one. Or almost killed another one. Despite it being a challenge rating of seven. Yeah, the two of them combined for a challenge. Of seven. Retro with us. Tells you if you had retro, it might have been easier. Uh, oh shit! If you had retro, it definitely would have been easier because he is such a damage dump. <laughs> Although Perrin sort of Perrin in no one's <clears throat> terms, uh, is no slouch on the damage front either. Yeah. Hey, didn't you get two nat twenties? Something like that. I had a nat twenty one. If I can. I'm trying, you know, I'm trying to change a number on my character sheet, but it's like, no, you need to clearly be changing the word damage, the words damage slash type. <laughs> and so, by the way, uh, Sen there. told me that he was like, oh no, it's supposed to be five. Uh, okay, having his damage output because <laughs> he messed up on it. I wasn't necessarily having it. I am. I was shortchanging myself a D8 when I used my Divine Smite. Yeah. But hopefully, hopefully he got that figured out. <laughs> I did indeed fix that. Nice. But yeah. um, that is neither here nor there. <laughs> We're ready. So, uh, the walk back to the keep is uh, uneventful. Um, beyond the fact that you are, you know, cheered and celebrated by everyone that, uh, uh, you walk past, you're sort of like an impromptu parade. <clears throat> this is start out of character, this is starting to become a recurring theme here. It is. People are admiring us wherever we go and kick ass. Yeah, you're starting to get noticed. Yeah. But I'm pretty sure I'm gonna stay. Let's humble. just all let's just all start to suck this in a bit and just sort of 
give the the crowds a wave and a smile. Oh, well, of course. That's and humbling. strut through. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, let's not get cocky. <laughs> no, let's not get cocky. Let's just I'm gonna stay normal there. walk, but we can smile and wave. Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, we can we can acknowledge a bit of this. Just let's not get go to our heads. You know what? Make me. Uh, everyone can make me a charisma check. Oh, this will be fun. <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> wow, seventeen. Um, sixteen. Eighteen. Ooh, did I ever check update? Yes, I did update spell stuff. Okay, sometimes I... Sh okay, did I just get cursed by the fucking dice gods? No, nope. Actually, no, that was a 16. Okay, good. Know. You guys can cover my sorry butt and smack me on the head. Oh my... What did you get? Because apparently the dice oh gods hate me. I got another what nap one. <laughs> so total? Three. Ouch. Just smack me on the back of the head. <laughs> I got a 19, Lap. so 21. Thank you for covering my sorry butt. No, man, no, I've got charisma check. I, it was a 16 that I got on the dice. So then I had my two modifier to that, didn't I? Yes. Okay. So, okay, it was an 18 then. Yeah. So... Um, you both just pulled my sorry butt out of the fire. <laughs> well, I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna pop the hood and give you a little bit of, of a behind the scenes thing here. If your total combined charisma checks were sixty or over, you were gonna start getting uh, uh, some coin thrown at you, depending on how good you got. You guys didn't just get sixty; you got eighty-one. Oh, <laughs> Holy shit! Jesus Christ! Jeez. So, oh yes, people, as you're walking, and they're being very tasteful and respect respectful about it. Because let's be clear, having coins thrown at you can yeah. hurt. So they're <laughs> they're gently, you know, tossing coins into the street. <laughs> And if you walk past and intentionally don't pick them up, they run over, scoop them up, and hand them to you. Uh, each of you makes... Uh... Fifty gold. Oh, yes. A hundred silver and, uh... Eighty copper. Jesus, fuck! Okay. God, I, there we go. Finally, I can select... That. So what was it fifty gold sil or fifty silver and how much copper? Fifty gold, a hundred silver, and eighty copper. Fifty gold, 80 copper. hundred silver, and eighty copper. My God, silver, that's, that's a gold. Eighty copper, gold pieces. Ooh, um. Actually, holy crap. That's a hell of a lot more than I was thinking. I need to do that calculation later. Good yeah. fucking god. What are we doing as far as silver, gold, and copper? This, uh, this should be the first copper and silver you've got. Yeah, and copper yeah. is... Ten copper is one silver. Um, Ten silver is one gold. Yeah. That's Good. skipping the electrum, which is, like... I don't know weird. anybody that really uses it. The electrum is weird. Yeah. Electrum yeah. is one electrum is five <laughs> silver, one gold is two electrum. Thus it still fits into the ten ten to one if you skip it. Yep. <gasps> I need to make a... Just wow. Yeah. One hundred silver, eighty copper. So wait, the charisma check was an in to grand total thing. That's how I was particular. That's how I was running it for this particular in for this particular situation. And oh, you guys goodness. blew it out of the water by almost fifty percent. <laughs> I'm sorry, gold was fifty, was it? Oh, uh, one, uh, yes, fifty. 
50 gold. Okay. So I'll that would that mean later. that I've got on top of the 100 silver pieces I've already got, that'd be another additional 8 silver pieces. If you want to break it down that way, yes. I'm personally going to keep the copper, silver, and gold separate because there are some things that you can use silver for. Yeah. And there are some, cheap, like, you can get cheap food for copper pieces. Well, there is another thing you could use copper for. <laughs> Indeed. So, you then arrive at the, uh, at the keep. You are escorted right to the banquet hall, and immediately, uh, remarkable smells and odors begin uh, wafting uh, to your nostrils. The dining hall itself is absolutely magnificent. The, the table is uh, can seat three wide and 15 long and you can kind of see that there's ways to attach additional uh like a, a additional seats, long ways and length ways. The queen is sitting at the head of the table opposite to where you uh, come in, but she stands up and just begins applauding. And shortly thereafter, uh, Min South awkwardly begins to uh, be, begins to follow her to follow her lead. Finally, the wait staff. Who is li which are lining the walls? Um, all begin uh, <clears throat> applauding and cheering uh, as you make your way in, and this fanfare goes on for about <clears throat> ten seconds. I'm blushing over here, out of character. Mm. <laughs> Max or hey, at least I humble. think so. <laughs> just got a wide grin on my face out of character. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we're all like, smiling. This I is just, awesome. Yeah, I this just kind awesome. of look around in disbelievement. <laughs> I think that's disbelief. And that. <laughs> Finally, uh, the applause and even a few cheers fade, Mira extends both her hands towards the seats and says, Come, sit, eat! Yay! Yep. Mark's <laughs> out of character. Uh, takes a seat. You, <laughs> you sit, or, or a, 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 a wait, uh, a server, a servant, rather, pulls the chair out, gestures for you, you sit down, and as you uh, as you slide forward, uh, all of your feet hit against something. Uh, I think I look under the table. There's a moderately sized burlap sack. Oh, uh, interesting. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Don't Very. do anything that would piss someone off out of character. <laughs> no, no. This is this is it. Me okay. You look at the sack. Uh, what do you do? I'm gonna just leave it. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's just sort of steal. It. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just sort of get on with whatever's going on. None of our business. Keep keep it in mind that there's a burlap sack under the under the table. Which evidently feels quite heavy as we've all just hit our feet on it. Yes. You definitely hear not just one, but multiple objects uh, rattling in there. <laughs> mm. We could ask, but... We... Not none of our business? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. There's no reason... F Here's the other thing. There's no reason for you not to ask. Has Mira proven, has Mira shown in any way, shape, or form that she would be remiss to you asking 
remiss to you asking a question like that. No, no and let's, 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 let's face it as well. I mean, if they've put it right kind of at our feet, really, haven't they? Exactly. One of you can make me, or actually any one of you can make me a perception check. Perception? Okay. <laughs> I mean, wow, I could back him ten. up. A ten? I could back him up. Okay. No need. No need. 18. Perrin? Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Plus the... You guys all kind of hit this, hit those sacks simultaneously. There's a little bit of a clang and rattle. And you all visibly hear and see Mira kind of cover her mouth and go... <laughs> like she, she clearly she... stifles a chuckle. Ah. <laughs> 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 I'm just imagining that just for <laughs> like, the like she's trying not to laugh. I like that. <laughs> it's cool. She does a very good job uh of like she chuckles and then she immediately returns to, you know, very stately, very regal. Yeah. Yeah, I can just see her doing that. But she, you definitely hear her stifle a, a, a chuckle. Yeah. She reminds me a bit of, uh, I don't know why, but in my mind I've got Galadriel. Not a terrible description. Not a terrible comparison, but Galadriel, or, but she's far more fun-loving than Galadriel. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So... Yeah, awesome. Before, uh, promptly thereafter, the first course is brought out. Nice big bowls of uh, soup and salad. Ooh. Yum! Salad? Yes, <laughs> salad. For f for what's this green shit on my plate? <laughs> out, <laughs> out of character. <laughs> out, of, out, out of character, oh, by oh, the no. way. <laughs> Where's the meat? <laughs> You're a. Uh, she's sent uh, you faith palms. Her eyes, are, it, her eyes are closed as she takes as she uh, eats a spoonful of soup. Right, she opens one eye and says, "Don't worry, it's coming." <laughs> you just see oh, her her just she's very stately. <laughs> nice. She's her very beautiful. She's very stately. Uh, anyone who wants to can give me an insight check. <laughs> uh, sure. Insight. Wow, um, there's a 19. Insight. <laughs> 15, so 19. Awesome. God yeah, you know what? Swell. Yeah, I got a whole seven. <laughs> okay. And I got a 10, because the guys... Because... That's a three plus a seven, so that's a ten. Right, and you, Perrin? Nineteen. You nice. can... Nice. So, um... Senku... <laughs> and Bordan are a little bit taken aback. <laughs> uh, you kind of feel like you might have... Not offended her, but... Started to offend her. Uh, Although Senku just face palmed. The uh, the rest. Actually, you know what? Um, uh oh. Uh, Retro and Junkyard go to the. Uh, both of you go down to the dungeon master chat. I will send a uh, a message to one of you to tell the other to come back. Okay. Actually, the D and D adventure is better. Okay. <laughs> the rest of you can tell she is she is absolutely playing a practical joke on those two. Oh. <laughs> Not offended in the least. <laughs> So, one second.
Oh, oof. <laughs> <laughs> I just hear bing, bing, bing. I, I'm, I'm here again. <laughs> so, you don't eat much of the salad, Mind right? you. or uh, Bordan. Do you, you eat the soup? <laughs> Or Dan. Yes. Do you eat the soup? Um, yeah, I'll have a soup. Why not? Okay. The soup is uh, quite... Uh, the, the soup is actually quite hearty. Uh, it, it's very... There's there's a whole lot of there's a whole lot of substance in it. It's your basic chicken noodle soup, but... Ooh. Oh, Max already loves that. Yeah, nice. Um... So that is uh, picked up and and, and brought oh, and uh, taken away, and almost in unison. Thank the, you second, the, move. the second tray is uh, the the second tray of food is presented. The dome is lifted off, and each of you has your own personal pheasant. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. Wow. wow. I never had um, it, but... Not a character. Are pheasants small birds? Yes. Not really, no. Like, no. Eh. Wow. They're, they're, they're quite big. They're a dec decent sized bird. Yeah, especially for one person to eat, they are. Mm. Baldan's mouth is dribbling. <laughs> Oh, fun! Mira gestures and says, please, uh, I, I believe the expression is tuck in. <laughs> you don't have to and ask me, guys. Sanku does so with a grin. And he's enjoying the food. It is all finely prepared. Mira looks at Bordan and chuckles. <laughs> I feel like you could lose a hand in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> I'm, I'm laughing out of character it's just oh my god this is good <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't have one of these to put in a doggy bag and take with me oh come on <laughs> out of character my guy I mean, seriously, out of character, I'm tempted to just draw my guy face palming in response to Bordon's antics <laughs> regarding where the hell's the meat? Just show Senko face palming. It's like, darn it, Bordan. <laughs> <laughs> so, at this point, um, I'm gonna kind of gloss over the rest of the uh, of the meal because it's just your basic small talk and. A damn good time. Uh, yeah, yeah, and about a third of the way through, Mira, the the queen, just sort of drops the act, and she is, she is laughing and um, <laughs> celebrating and reveling with all of you. The um, there is a wide assortment of beverages, uh, mostly teas and. Uh, ales and and a few different meads uh there is a very high quality but not very high alcohol content uh elven mead that uh she shares mm -hmm. um, good, good. and as you guys are starting to slow down because oh my god you're stuffed Because after the pheasant comes even more, e even more food. Oh man! <laughs> guys, you're gonna make next. You're gonna make the guy playing either next or a pairing hungry. <laughs> <laughs> you no, know, I'm gonna make them famish. There's a difference. <laughs> <laughs> Queen looks around and says, uh, "I'm kind of surprised none of you have had the uh, have had mm. the courage to 
ask about the burlap sack. Oh, indeed. I was about to ask. But... <laughs> mm. Yeah, that has been playing in the back of my mind too. Same. So why didn't you ask? Oh, all, all this lovely food. <laughs> exactly. With we just felt it inappropriate at a time such as this. You didn't think the whole concept of a burlap sack under your seats was inappropriate in and of itself? Uh, it was, oh. but with the merriment, we just really didn't want to put a dampener on things. What a damp! What do you think is in there? A collection of disembodied heads? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, out of character. This is just hysterical. <laughs> I love this mirror person. I I just love how so I just love everything about her. I, yeah, she's, she's like the best fusion of Gandalf and Galadriel mixed yeah. into one with the with the ultimate, with, with yeah. the ultimate snark, and I love it. <laughs> oh God. Uh, Max are is chuckling in the back. Yeah, I'm just gonna <laughs> sit back and <laughs> sit this one out. This I mean, you know, you know, you know, bullrogs and whatever flying at me, but her, she, I've, I'm just mesmerized by her. <laughs> <laughs> She's awesome. <laughs> well, there's a reason. There, there's a reason she's awesome. She's played by a. Uh, she's played IRL by a, a very dear friend and skilled role player in her own right. <laughs> but um, that's neither here nor there. Mira, the, the the queen, is like, please, for the love of the gods. Open your, uh, open your thank you gifts. <laughs> oh, out of, okay. out, out of context, we all get one, right? Yes. Ah, Everyone has right. a, uh... Oh, I see. A oh, lap pack. Ah, I see. They're under each of our chairs. Yes. Oh, Ooh. I'm sorry. I... Up the <laughs> sack and it's like... Nark, sir, uh, picks his, his up. Ah, yes. Yeah. I, uh, yeah, I... Retrieve mine and lay it carefully on the table. Okay. The first thing you guys notice is there's there's a uh, a, a little bit of weight to these, uh, a couple of pounds at least. Um. On top of it, uh, the the first thing you reach in and pull out is a. Uh, a note that uh, essentially details the <coughs> contents of each of these uh, each of these things. First, uh, the note can be used in uh, any cyber. The note can be used in any. Uh, any village in Syri or Brayland to uh, procure yourself horses. Cool. Come. Uh, second, you each have a uh, a big old sack of. Two thousand five hundred gold. Oh, Jesus! Wow. Holy <laughs> shit! Five hundred gold. Two thousand five hundred. Yeah, two thousand five hundred gold. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the note. Uh, what else? Twenty five hundred gold. Okay. Twenty five. Jesus. Okay. I. Thank you, <laughs> so much. Just thanks. 
I, Thank you. Thank you. I think Megs are just a bit loss of words for this. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Yeah. Mira, as you thank her, uh, raises a hand to stop you and says, "Please, it should be me for th it should be me thanking you far more than this for help for coming to the defense of my country and my people. And before you get concerned, that money does not come from the." city that does not come from the city or even the national taxes it comes from my own personal uh comes from my own personal treasury uh in case you haven't figured it out i spent several decades in, uh, in my younger years as an adventurer like yourselves i accrued quite the small fortune <laughs> yeah we say <laughs> And we'll gladly continue yeah. keeping this place safe. I fear your uh, I, I, I fear your endeavors to do so will go far more go far go much further afield than keeping just Sire safe. I'll do my best to protect this whole place. This, the whole land. I have, she looks at you, bows her head a little bit, and says, I have no doubt that you will. <laughs> Narxar smiles and chuckles a little. Yeah, yeah, indeed. I think we'll... I'll have a chuckle as well. <laughs> so, it is roughly at uh, this point, the food coma begins to uh, hit you all. Uh, even Mira, you know, stretches and yawns. Oh yeah. And uh, says, "Guards, please escort them to their. Please escort them to their chambers." Um, At least, yeah. Out of <clears throat> character, I just want to say, "Holy crap! This is awesome." <laughs> yeah, you say that. Wait till you have to drop that much gold on a single item. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Magic gear in this game is not cheap. Hell no. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm talking in general. The entire campaign so far has just been one high after another. Oh, yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah. No doubt. No doubt about that. It is absolutely so, amazing. Like 2,500 is probably enough for two plus one items. Tops. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Might not even be enough for a plus two magic item. Yeah. Because I don't know no. past. Because I know plus ones, it's about a thousand gold. So. On the item. You guys are escorted to uh, your rooms. I bet these are going to be some fantastic rooms as well. Large, maybe 15 by 15, giant four poster bed with uh, curtains. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. Yep. Pretty sure. Next We're going to be gonna, sleeping good tonight. Going to plop yep. right onto that bed and relax. Definitely, oh, yeah. definitely no expense spared here, guys. There is spared, also no like a, an, an attached and <laughs> private bathing area um, I'll be right with, back. Baths, with baths already drawn for you. Oh, my. Yes, so you guys can all get nice and squeaky clean. Not wash all the squeaky the clean. I like that. You know what? Nagsar is going to take the... a nice hot bath. Oh, he's going to love it. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I'm going to squeeze my fat muscular ass into one of these bars. <laughs> you don't and to. <laughs> and just relax in all the bubbles. <laughs> you don't have to. You don't have to squeeze. These are large. These are large baths. Oh, good, these good. are like <laughs> these are almost like jacuzzis. Oh, oh fantastic! I love, yes, I love this, this. Bring the out of, out of character. Bring the scented candles and the bubble bath. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 
funny you should mention those. Oh, am I being not a character? <laughs> Bubble bath doesn't exist, but there are scented candles. Okay. <laughs> cool. I'll have some of them as well. There's assorted <laughs> scented candles. There's incense. <clears throat> nice. I'm pretty sure an is going to have like lavender and all, all that jazz up in there. Oh, yeah. yeah. You, can, you can pick and choose. Your, you, can, you can pick and choose your... Uh, your your sense and aromas here uh it is just a lavish it is a lavish night and at least one of the thoughts that uh passes through all of your minds were or is everything we went through to get this was worth it <laughs> absolutely it, it, hell it yes moment. yes yeah, I think this is probably one of the best nights that we've probably ever had. Indeed. For a formidable team, and you know what? It shows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So the rest of the, the rest of the night is uh, more or less uneventful, save for you, Bordan. Oh God. Oh boy. <laughs> um, oh no! Talk amongst yourselves. This will take just a few minutes. If oh, or no. if uh, Bordan would do join me in the <laughs> dungeon master chat. Oh, uh, what have you done now? <laughs> but yeah, at the banquet when when Bordan went, where's all the? What is this green leafy shit? Where's all the meat? You could just hear this loud smack of. Paul meeting face is sent to just sit there and says, Darn it, Bordan. <laughs> like, you know that Picard face palm? <laughs> yep. Think of that. <laughs> like, Senku just going. Darn it, poor Dan, burying his hands, burying his head in his hands, like, you. I watched this little <coughs> tackling at the scene. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Double face palm. For when one face palm doesn't cut it. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> We're all relaxing I in our rooms. <laughs> There's like a jacuzzi and scented candles and Yeah. There's just something it's that's... lavish. Yeah. This whole this whole campaign so far has been unbelievably awesome. Amazing. Like I love Loving the story, loving the characters, and just it's it's awesome. Queen Mira is just epic. <laughs> yeah, like, we all like her. Everything about her is like is just perfect. She's she's mm -hmm. got Gandalf's sense of humor. She's got Galadriel's serenity, and she's <laughs> also got snark like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> <laughs> yep, uh, Bordan and the DM are <laughs> talking. Which just leads me to wonder if Bordan is alright. Oh no. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> well, you know what? Well, you know what they say. A gentleman never tells. <laughs> I'm sorry I had to go there.
Boy, they're uh, been talking for a while now. They sure are. They've been, they've been gone for at least a few minutes now. I'm watching technology connections. Mm. While I wait for the DM. How's it going, Pat? Oh, doing good. That's good, buddy. It evaporates in here and condenses over there. So, finally, here's where we get into how we make this work for us and why heat pumps are so cool. I mean, hot. Hotly cool. Coolly hot. And why any American audiences may find this whole idea a little perplexing. See, a lot of us are used to energy flow and regulation system go one way. Boy, we've already Frigid. been on for almost 52 minutes already. Good grief. I didn't do like hmm. that long. <laughs> yeah, yeah, back up. Here's essential this is the compressor. It has the compressor and the condenser. Heat comes out of here, and that's, that's just the way it is. The evaporator sits above my furnace and makes the air colder. Sometimes it's pretty. out of the year sits pretty. Heat comes out of here, and that's, that's just the way it is. The evaporator sits above my furnace. This makes the air colder. And so it's out of the year, and it sits pretty. Here's No idea. <laughs> I hope it's good. I hope it's good. <laughs> yeah, I was playing a bit of tornado jockey when uh before we started. I was playing farm sim on my farm all day today. <laughs> But yeah, I was playing my tornado jockey before he, before Sin came. Oh. Oh. 
Hi, hey. Sen. Hey, finally. Hello. <laughs> I apologize. That took a little bit longer than uh, expected. No worries. We were All right. wondering what's going to happen. So... Ooh, that oh, was my left. neck. Everyone uh, wakes up. Mm. Uh, you, all your rooms were more or less adjacent to each other. You all kind of step out of your rooms within a few seconds of each other, and then you notice, like, as you're stretching and, and whatever and getting ready for... Uh, and, and getting ready to leave or do whatever you want, you notice Bordan is a few minutes late rising. <clears throat> his room his, his door is there and uh, you know it to be unlocked we're not going to peek in we're going to knock All right. I was going to say knocky knocky or Dan you hear knocks on the door uh, come in <clears throat> buddy so... are you okay man <laughs> He says you can. He says you hear a voice. You hear Bordan's voice say, "Come in." Yeah, <laughs> come, come in. Yeah, well, let's all go Jeez. in, I guess. You can just open the door. Bordan is sitting in bed, kind of standing up and stretching and, and doing, and, and stretching with his uh, left hand at least. Then you notice his right hand, which is not stretching, but is holding his. Uh, great sword, or is it really his great sword? Because it doesn't look like this. It it doesn't look like the same weapon he's been wielding for since uh, Corwin. Interesting. Um, where it was, you know, your typical bog standard great sword. Hmm. The blade is now roughly six inches longer, uh, substantially uh, thinner in terms of uh, in terms of the width of the blade. Um, where it was a double, where each where each uh, where each uh, edge had a or each side had a cutting surface. It now appears to only have a single edge. The back edge, about six inches above the hilt, has a gap in it that uh, looks like it could be used as a secondary hand grip in addition to the hilt. Uh, or even instead of the hilt. Also, markedly different wow. is the blade itself which is no longer you know your shiny steel color but obsidian black oh interesting uh that <laughs> dude your weapon got if that's your weapon that thing got an upgrade uh, where did your sword go my, bud my friends why do you look at me so Next, or points at your sword. Uh, where did it go? What is this? I've never seen this blade before in my life. And yet, you feel like you, and yet you feel like you do. You're, you're convinced that this is at least yeah. part of you is convinced that this is the same sword you were wielding since uh, in... you killed the orc. You killed the orc in Corwin. My friends, I had a cu most curious dream. I I felt like there was someone calling to me. I couldn't. There was just a presence. My my sword was the same sword that I had had when I went to sleep, and now I've woke up with this. Dude, if that's your sword, that's... <clears throat> Sorry. Dude, if that's your sword, that thing got a substantial upgrade. Maxar ponders. Interesting. Interesting indeed. 
Uh, Senku, roll me. <laughs> Excuse me, roll me an Arcana check. Uh, and Bordan, I just sent you a uh, text file. Yeah, I got that. I oh, th one. think. Whoa, twenty. That's oh. a modified twenty, but it's still a twenty. It's a dirty 20. Okay. So kindly join me in the oh, DM chat. Thank you. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, it makes me wonder what's going on. <laughs> oh, God. I, I believe you have a magic weapon of some form, but I do not know what form. <laughs> I am just a noob. I just... <laughs> oh, that's not what he had. So, <laughs> well, based on the circumstances, it has to be magic, and that's even before the Arcana roll. The Arcana roll Ooh. guarantees it's magic of some kind, most likely. Otherwise, the success would have been Sen saying, "There is no magic here." Okay. Better the um, other option would have been to go religion. Because. Or nature, because divine would be the next set of magic. <clears throat> um. Hmm. Okay, I've. Yeah. Senna sent me. Sen has sent me, or our dungeon master, I should say, has sent me something about this, and at the moment, I, I'm not really sure if I'm supposed to say anything about it. Probably not yet. Not at the moment, I don't think, but uh, I'm going to have to read this. Seeing as Senku's about the only one we have that can identify magic items, not really. Yeah. Yeah, because my Arcana is a three. It's not, like, the best. No, well, I had a really weird dream. Whilst I was asleep. Oh. And... Yeah. Oh, they're back. Okay. You can tell Senku's... You can tell gears are turning in Senku's head, and finally the light bulb turns on. <laughs> Senku? Senku. What the hell is going on? All right, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> it's your turn. Yeah, Senku grins and says, Ah, I think I know what this thing is. It's an item of legacy. Mm. They bond with the user as their, the weapon or the item. They're not always weapons, but they generally kind of take the form of weapons. This sword must have bonded to you and gained power as you did. So as you gain more skill with this thing, and gain more power with it, the weapon will power up as you do. I see. So, this is... this is, in every respect, your greatsword, with some serious upgrades. Well, not so serious at the moment. A, a drastic physical change. Yeah. Small improvement. It's definitely pretty cool. I sent you the uh yeah, I, I sent you the text file. Yeah, I've actually got that. Can I actually say anything about this from that or is this just for me at the moment? Uh you can absolutely say um the name You can absolutely say it like you pick this thing up and it feels just more natural in your hands as you uh, as you swing it. Yeah, it really feels much more part of me. Yep. Hmm. 
Not out of character right now, it's just a plus. It, it just became a plus one uh, weapon. Yeah. Okay. Mm. But as he levels up, so too will the sword. And I have plans for items for everybody here. <laughs> yes! This is so cool. Everyone's gonna get one of these. Perrin's is probably gonna be next. It's just one of the more. Co- it's one of the most complicated ones. I've been working on it even longer than this one. Can but, I actually? Can I actually say this sword's name because it is so cool? Yes, you. As you sort of picked it up, the 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 weapon's name became known to you. This sword is the Night Saber. Night Saber. Night Sever. Sever. Sever? Yeah. Night Sever. That is a very cool name. I like Thank you. I created it myself. It is so cool. The Obsidian Black Blade. <laughs> oh, yes. That's got to be pretty strong and durable. Would a good way to describe it be sort of the same level of black that's on the wings of the SR-71 Blackbird? Uh, no, it's oh, definitely more of an obsi- it's definitely more obsidian, even to the point that it's kind of shiny. It's shiny, mm. ah, cool. black. It's black and shiny. Oh, very cool. <laughs> <laughs> I love this sword. <laughs> so that is a plus one bonus on attack. Okay. Yep. So you're great. So- so your great sword, and you can replace great sword with knight sever if you so wish. Indeed, I do. <laughs> <laughs> great sword to add a knight sever. And as I said, I have plans for, uh, I have plans for everybody to have one of these, or something, their own version of one of these. <clears throat> oh, cool! Plus one bonus on a. Attack, so that would be seven, so that's eight on attack. <clears throat> and damage 2d6 plus four, so that would be f- five plus five. Yep. I do have one small disclaimer I need to put, I need to say right here and now. I am brand spanking new as a DM for fifth edition. As such, um, I may very well have either made these things far too weak or entirely too strong. So <laughs> what you have right what you get right now may not necessarily remain. It may it, it may like I, I may change, tweak, uh, and adjust uh, the levels you get stuff and what that stuff is. So yeah, no worries, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I will not in any way, shape, or form hold you like responsible for these. And uh, hey, it's it's all good. <laughs> so no, worries, it's all dude. good. I mean, this is this campaign is just so out of this world. It's <laughs> it's amazing. Well, you know what? It's going to get a whole lot crazier. <laughs> thing is that weird dream I had I still really don't quite understand what's going on here but that, um, was, a, that was a weird dream out of character <clears throat> the pop the hood that was the sword kind of calling out to you to try and bond with you I see <laughs> oh Christ yes of course it really is it's not Pacto from Bleach <laughs> not, nece- not, by nece- not by design but yes Ah, right. Okay. I will not bl- out of character. I won't blame Retro. G- I won't blame Retro J if he decides to say, "Get Suga Ten Show." <laughs> um, no. <laughs> None of his. Ability- there will be no bleach references in this campaign. Probably I can't not. say that, but none of his abil- none of the abilities he has really, even like far later on down the line, none of the abilities the sword gets reflect that. Hmm. 
<laughs> well, I wanna. Move. But um, <laughs> you know, I was trying to be funny. I know. Yes. I'll just. But shall we continue? Indeed. At uh, at at about this point, um, you hear <coughs> a uh, a squire walking and just sort of ringing a cowbell, saying, uh, <coughs> "Breakfast in the main hall. <laughs> Breakfast in the main hall." Well, let's get going. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! Yeah. Yeah. More food. This campaign is awesome. You, you don't think they're just trying to make us chunky, do you? <laughs> well, you have that thought for just a moment. Then when you open it, it's it's a much smaller, almost uh, like a continental breakfast. There's like <laughs> a small bowl of um oats. Uh, some toast, uh, a fair, a, a decent amount of bacon. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, now, now you're talking. Yeah. Um, but it is, this is not, you know, the grand feast. This is continental breakfast. Yep. It's okay. Anything goes fine with bacon. <laughs> Hopefully, there's some bananas. You can you can always leave the rest of the stuff as long as you got the bacon. <laughs> <laughs> um, there are no bananas. Oh darn! <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> uh, Queen Mira is there. Um, don't we get all of our spells and stuff back? Because we yes, sweat. you do. All your hit points are recovered. All your spells are recovered. Oh. You have taken a long rest. Long rest. Yep. Mm. Yep, that's what they thought. Oh yeah, that means I get to roll my hit dice again, doesn't it? No, no. you don't roll any. Oh, I meant my hit points. Yes. I mean, I have no, 37 right now at, when I was at level 4, but I never got the opportunity to roll my health points. Oh, no, for the level? You. Yeah, so 2d6, take the highest, take the highest number, add your constitution. Huh. I thought it was the D10 D8. for me. I'm sorry, D8. I, ap D8, I apologize. I'm one, I think one of two of us that has D10s, and I think the other one is Sun. Mm -hmm. Retro has the uh, D12, everybody else has D8s. <clears throat> well, I got, a, I got a, basically a 7 on that one, so that's a... Um, Mr. Sun modifier. That's 44 hit points. That is not bad. Nice. So, <clears throat> you... I got I got five hit dice now. Everyone does. Yeah. So, you guys sit. Queen Mira uh, is there. She, between bites of toast, uh, puts her hands uh, gently on the table and says, Well, uh, gentlemen, I now have a question for you. Uh, what are you going to do now? <clears throat> Good question. Hmm. Okay. We did find some information that yes. might be kind of worrying. We found out this symbol is the Elder Elemental Eye. Connected to some Air Elemental, evil prince of Air Elementals named Yan Sieben. However, you probably choose to pronounce that. It could be Yan Sibin. She, she raises her. her uh, she raises her hand as if to stop you and says, uh, "The less information I know, the better." 
uh, I have no question of the uh, with regards to the loyalty of my court. However, the walls and ceiling may have eyes and have ears. ears that we are not yeah. that we are not aware of. Hmm. Okay. So, it is best That's that you the... keep your information to yourself. Can right. S- someone might be do. Can we maybe do some sort of check to make sure whether or not this place is safe for us to talk? Um. You. <clears throat> not really. Uh, you would need special. Uh, I don't think scrying detection spells and uh, scrying detection spells and items for that, which you do not possess. Uh, Min South does chime in and uh, saying, <coughs> "I am confident in my own scrying. De- I'm confident in my own detection spells that there are no scrying senses present anywhere in the castle." Uh, <coughs> you're a which Mira raises an eyebrow and says, you said the same thing in the Black Spiral. And you see Minsoth visibly, like, shudder a little bit, bow his head and say, yes, ma'am. <laughs> Interesting. I... There's so many places... Uh, that they could be operating in. Uh, Perrin, what do you think? Well, we have the connection to. Is my an off character? My mind's drawing a blank suddenly. Yeah. Brayland. <laughs> Brayland. Yes. Yep. Brayland. No problem. I'm not gonna hold loss. I'm not gonna hold lapses of judgment against you. <clears throat> but you guys are. It's a very unusual time of. It's a very unusual time of night that we have these games. So, I'm not gonna hold <laughs> lapses like that against any of you. Uh, da, 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 I'm just trying to read down. Um... Say so we do have that connection with Braylon to investigate at some point. We. Could is yeah, it not that far from here, right? And more importantly, that device that Senku and Min South have cooking up that as Min well. South, Min South looks to that. <clears throat> uh, if you would trust me with your plans, I would oversee its construction because we will not split up this group. Yes, I trust you with the plans, Agreed. Min South. I will begin construction immediately. I, 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 I okay. think we should go to Byron, or uh, the the Brayland. Yeah, Brayland. Yeah, Not the Bray because because I'm here the Braylish Boulder. Oh God. Mira smiles and says, "Well, as it so happens, there is a." Uh, there's a trade caravan uh, set to leave here at uh, about noon today. Uh, I could sign you on as royal escorts. That'd be pretty cool. What do you think, guys? That would work. Sure. Yeah, I think that that'd be pretty good for us. Very well. I will see to that immediately i will also be giving you uh i will also be giving you passes to speak to the braylish prime minister thank you so you could potentially get for you to potentially question him and learn what he knows oh that would be most helpful he and i have he and I have some pleasant history. I have no I have no doubt he would be open to speaking with you. So 
with that, um, she sort of, uh, her smile sort of, uh, shrinks a bit and says, part of the reason I granted you such a large monetary, uh, monetary, um, reward yesterday was because I could not offer you items from our armory for free. However, you are more than welcome to speak to the quartermaster and see if we can't get you outfitted with a few <clears throat> with a few more pieces of equipment. <clears throat> uh, yeah, well, thank you. I'll definitely take up on that. Thank you for the offer. Um, I'm sure. I'm sure he will be most helpful. She nods and says, "Absolutely." We will visit him as soon as we can. Then, uh, I advise. I encourage you to take your leave now. Erickson sure nods. Very Senku well. gives a smile to Queen. Senku gives a smile to Queen Mary and says, "And again, thank you." She bows her head slightly and says. Once again, I feel as though I should be the one to thank you for your services yesterday. You've performed great deeds. As a passing joke, I will just bear, I will just get on my knee again to her. I know she loves it. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. And just, I just give her a smile as I do so. <laughs> she gives you a very... <clears throat> Like she gives you a raised eyebrow. <laughs> I love that raised eyebrow. You can detect, you can detect the like... thinnest of smiles. <laughs> it's, it's just She's out of character. I'm just imagining her giving the raised eyebrow like Spock. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like Eelk from SG1. <laughs> yeah. I just, I just, I don't know what it is. I just like seeing her do that. <laughs> That's hysterical, Sen. I love this. I love this person you've made known as Queen Mira. She is just. I love the, everything about her. She's got the weight of. She's got. She's got Gandalf's fun-loving personality, Galadriel's serenity, and more importantly, she's got enough snark to outsnark a comedian. <laughs> Indeed. Yep. <laughs> Everything about her, it just works. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, yeah. like I said, I'm playing her the I'm I'm sort of playing her the same way her her actual player would. Cool. And if you ever this say hi great. to if you ever say hi to them, tell them Tornado sends their highest compliments. <laughs> yeah, I should be actually. I should actually be able to see her. Uh, should actually be able to speak with her soon. Ooh. Fantastic! Well, tell her we all said oh. hi, <laughs> and that we love her character. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, tell her. That. But yeah, uh, shall we go on an well, adventure? Yeah, let's, well, let's go. Let's uh, go and see this person then that can maybe give us some more equipment. We need to figure <clears throat> out if <clears throat> anybody lost this crystal. If um, not, I'm gladly going to take it. Do you... Actually... One second. You say that... Oh! 
Mira, you hear Mira gasp. Ooh. Oh. What have you done? <laughs> Where did you get that? Oh, uh, I think it. The... Quick, put it away! <laughs> no. <laughs> Bonks <laughs> you in the head. <laughs> um, <laughs> her takes... expression is her expression is not of you know fear or anger. It is shock. Naxxer uh, shows the rose pink crystal. Yeah, it's, it was it's... apparent. It was, somehow it ended up between my feet, and I'm not sure how it ended up there. Let me explain, please. <laughs> this was very helpful yep. in our battle. It. Her eyes go wide. It's and. She immediately, like, claps and says, You five, stay put. Everyone else, leave. Except you, Minsa. Oh, dear. Oh. Everyone else, Ooh. out. Oh, no. Out. The royal decree, out. This is serious, guys. <laughs> oh, shit. We've either just done something really good, or we've just really pissed her off. Her expression is not one of anger, or you know, there is a there. If there were no, there are some notes of not just fear but terror mixed in with the shock. Oh, I haven't seen one of those in centuries. Do you mind well, indulging me? Um, yeah, it yeah, did something you, really. Yeah, yeah, it did something really crazy. Yeah. Can you tell it, us it, what it this mean, is? It made my Let me guess. Be... It turned some of your attacks to acid. Yes, it did. Yeah, my acid splash went turned this bright rosy pink color, the same color as the crystal. And my moonbeam. And the, yeah, and, and the and, and then it the... happened with my eldritch blast. Turned it to acid, I assume. Yep. And now we've got our good friend Nexor here. Well, who is your moonbeam. Got... Purple, or again, the color yeah, of the pink, crystal. Pink. Yeah. pink. Pink. Oh. She puts her hands behind her back. She comes over, and she very carefully studies it. And says... She gets a smile like that. That's rem that she reminisces. She gets a smile of that that clearly speaks of nostalgia, and then the smile dra uh, rapidly and uh, suddenly almost inverts. Hmm. Oh. This is either someone that she knew, maybe used one of these. She looks to you, Bordan, and says, "We all did." <clears throat> um, and you didn't—I uh, didn't add, uh, accurately describe this, but in the uh, the church, uh, ver there there's a part of this uh, there's a part of this castle that has almost a uh, almost its own church. Mm -hmm. Um. Where there are there is a stained glass window depicting <laughs> a much younger and much younger uh, Queen Mira from her adventuring days, yeah, with a large uh, with with a large party, uh, including a gnome riding atop a paladin's uh, shoulders, a wizard in very plain. Uh, earth tone clothes <clears throat> that looks like he is wielding and surrounded by a lightning bolt. Right. Um. A priestess who um is just depicted as 
casting an immense swath of fire. Uh, a tree. That, like almost like a uh, a, a a normal a, a normal human sized treant, uh, among several others. Um, mm-hmm. She says, "We all used to we all used to be able to we all used to wield one of these." I see. Hmm. There's more than there are several. There are seven others where this came from. Oh dear! They are so yes. Yeah, so this is one of a set. Yes and no. We could never really figure out everything that they did. Um. I but see. Are they all of the same colour, or are they... Do they kind of represent, if you see what I mean, like, different elements? They're not just, they're not just representative of different elements. They, they are. They are crystallised, solid, elemental energy incarnate. I see. So each, this, each one is of a different colour. Yes, this crystal Good is... God! It's, it's not just... Acid isn't in the bottle. Acid is the bottle. Mm. Right. Hmm. So whatever I do, any attack, if I use this, it will have an acid attack. If you choose to, if you choose to call upon the, if you choose to change it with the crystal, yes. You don't have to use the crystal. Mm-hmm. I'm sure by now you might, you must have figured that out. Uh, indeed. Um, but yes, essentially, it, and among other things, they recharge slowly over time, like most wands, but they have far more charges in them, uh, and exposure to their energy, uh, exposure to the energy type that they represent can expedite the charging process. Uh, you can also call upon that energy to perform incredible spell-like attacks with them. Mm-hmm. I'm pondering something. And- yeah, because I used my moonbeam with it, and instead... If, there's no, if, there, if she's right, then that means there's one of... Sorry. Yeah. It, it if, changed if it from... This Mira is all out of character. If Mira is right, then there's more of these things. Thunder there's was, fire. There's junkyard, lightning. Thunder was talking. Yeah, it, it's a Sorry, guard. Thunder was talking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was saying um, it changed my moonbeam from radiant to acid. Yes, but this was still a conscious choice on your part. And so, does this does this only affect the one who is holding the stone at the time? Uh, the one who is closest to it. Uh, sometimes, if it's not being held, it will just activate naturally. I presume that's what happened to you. Uh, presume that's what happened to you, Senku. When you said it turned an eldritch blast into acid, I don't believe you were holding. Were you holding the crystal? No, it was just resting between my feet. Right, but you were yeah. still the closest one to it. Yep. It yeah. Was essentially, trying to get your attention. It's like, hey, look at me. I'm gonna make things. I'm gonna make something weird happen so you notice me. <laughs> okay. Sure did. This means that there might there's. Fire and electricity. Yes. Yes. Something tells me that in the wrong hands, these things can do can do some terrible damage. She looks at you, uh, eyes narrowed, and says, "You have no idea." 
you have absolutely no idea. We and really need to. Yeah, I mean, you wish to know what the other seven represent. There is a blue one that per that uh, is radiant damage. There is a yellow one which is force. Red, which is fire. Green, which is electricity. Yeah. Uh, hold on. Orange, which is gravity. Light blue, which is wind. Pink, mm -hmm. obviously, is acid. Yes, it is. And white. Which is ice. Could could we go through that again? Or can you put it the the list? I wanna, yes, as a matter of fact, I, I would be happy to do notes. that. I'm gonna make some notes. Fantastic. Crystal Gravity. I got a bit halfway, then got lost. <laughs> yeah. We went a little fast. Crystal. Nice. <clears throat> there we go. I got them all written down. Pink crystal is acid. Blue crystal is radiant. Yellow crystal is force. Red crystal is fire. Green crystal is electricity. Light blue crystal. Light blue crystal is wind. Orange crystal is gravity. And white crystal is ice. This is all I heard. <laughs> and you did it again. <laughs> yeah. Uh, bad memory, you know. <laughs> All I got is pink is and This is why oh, I like writing things down. I haven't got a bad memory so much. It's just I'm a bad typing. <laughs> I got bad memory. He was ah, there we go. So... There we go. Done. Da. I shall just copy that and stick that straight in my notes. <laughs> Absolutely great. There is one thing. There is one other thing I can tell. I can tell you about them. Uh, <clears throat> Master Bordan, may I see your greatsword for a moment? Please, and I hand it to her. May I see the crystal as well? It, yes, hands the crystal over. Here we she, go. This should be good. She <laughs> takes the crystal. She sort of holds the uh, great sword upside down and places the crystal ah. uh, at the base of the pommel. That 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 gap that was in it. No, that that's sort of above the hilt. Ah, oh, right. Okay. Uh, but she she sort of places it. On, top the palm like at the bottom of the pommel right pulls her hand away and sort of holds the sword upside down and you can see um even uh with uh surrounding the uh surrounding the obsidian blade is this faint pink cloud that smells kind of caustic and acrid to the uh to the nose um Whoa. she swings it kind of awkwardly uh and it leaves this uh sort of wispy <coughs> uh this this sort of wispy tra wispy pink trail uh Gosh. before she removes the crystal and uh hands the crystal and uh weapon back to uh, Nexer and Bordan respectively. So Those by using by using that stone with my sword then, or I'm assuming any weapon, maybe it could actually turn that blade into like acid. It any, will deal any, additional acidic damage, yes. Any yeah. attack, any power, it will if you call upon it, will use yeah. acid. Which is it simply can with with spells it simply converts the it converts the energy type. 
uh, a scorching ray pr fired using that crystal would turn to acid instead of fire. Um, wow. Yes, but attaching them, attaching the crystal to a weapon, it functions as what we used to call an augment crystal uh, and adds a small amount of, uh, in this case, acidic damage. Mm. When you, when one swings when one swings its weapon, the weapon has to be has to be magical before a crystal can be affixed to it. Otherwise, I see. Hmm. She just pulls out a random dagger uh, and says, "May I see the crystal again?" Yes. This is a normal, non-magical dagger. She puts the crystal to the hilt. Let's go, and the crystal draw. The crystal begins to fall before she catches it and hands it back. It st may it remained affixed to Ordan's greatsword because his greatsword is now magical. Yes, I know a few things about legacy items. Hmm. Well. Okay, that's uh, interesting around, to remember. Let's just say I've been around the block a few times <laughs> oh and um out of character sen these things kind of remind me of the infinity stones not where i got the idea at all um, i'm just saying fantastic. they kind of remind me of them it's similar but nowhere near It's just kind of something that says, hey, this kind of reminds me of the Infinity Stones. Not like an exact representation, and I know you say it's not where you got the idea, it's just... It it kind of sparked a memory about them. Ultimately, I'll tell you where I got the idea for these, but they are yet an, there are at least one thing that is entirely original. Um... So, she sort of sighs a bit and says, it is fortunate and unfortunate that they are returning because according to legends, these crystals only reveal themselves in times of great <laughs> turmoil. Yeah, oh dear. What a surprise. We're having a lot of that lately. Um, the last time they revealed themselves, things got bad. An evil more powerful than most gods uh, escaped from its seal, and the planar boundaries themselves shattered. Oh, boy. Something tells I me that's widen. bad. <sighs> that would be... Um, do, these, do these stones have to be returned, or... To a certain place, or is there a keeper of the stones? Not that we're aware of. They sort of came. We discovered them over time, used them uh, as we needed to and as we saw fit. Mm. Uh, they main they remained in our possession for several years to several decades after my adventuring party and I had gone separate ways and some of them had even passed away and then they just vanished oh hmm. huh. interesting at the same time they are they have a rudimentary intelligence they are not they are not like your they are not your normal sentient magic items. They're not that they're not that smart, but hmm. from what we could gather about them going back several millennia to the original 
founders of the different schools of magic as we know them today. They were, those founders were taught by a single master known as Ashcroft Ravenscar. Oh. You mm. might recognize the name. Yeah. Yeah. We do. Indeed. Ashcroft Mountains. Yes. And the last. Ashcroft, Ashcroft was so powerful, he single handedly created the mountain range. As a barrier between our four countries and what lies on the other side of the mountains. <clears throat> now, as a shooting star was about to fall, those founders of magic threw every spell they could at it to stop it. And as, as though they failed, or just uh, after they failed, but before the impact, they each cast a yeah. wrap the soul spell on one another to preserve their consciousnesses. Right. Now, trap the soul requires an extremely expensive and finely cut gemstone special and, and the more powerful the soul is that's being put into them the bigger and more expensive it needs to be they willingly gave themselves to the stones so their powerful magical essence trapped within these stones was then flung to the farthest corners of the uh, continent and essentially left to simmer and stew in areas of great elemental uh, power. Uh, one of the vol a volcano in the Ashcroft Mountains. The bottom of a very deep lake in the Norlean Forest. The, fire, the water. The top yeah. of, a, uh, the top of a, uh, a great frozen peak. Uh, the windswept plains of uh, the wind the windswept plains outside Thalicos. You see where I'm going with this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Flash forward. Fire to fire, and fire you have these fire. crystals. Okay, which in essence has the casters within them. Yes. Not yes and no. After such a long time, there's. Uh, I. <coughs> mm. You'd have to talk to Min South about you know mm. something he called an essence decay rate. It hurts my head. Oh. I was never a I, I, I was never a cast. I, I was never one for spell slinging, mm. even back then. But um. Okay, well, this is very got to keep your eyes open for more of these stones indeed and especially you have to keep them from falling into uh the cult's hands because should they acquire gods forbid the lightning or the wind crystals i shudder i, I shudder to think what they could do i'll God. i'll keep them safe and make good use of them um if is I'm it a good idea them. is it a really good idea to keep them apart from each other or well I would not yeah. the party i traveled with each kept them uh, we didn't take all eight of them on every single mission we uh every single mission we undertook but having access to them when we needed them allowed us to perform pretty miraculous feats so they're okay in close proximity to each other though absolutely and based on what has been said i would suggest keeping it with us at all mm. times mm. we do not easier want... yeah, to keep um, an eye on it yeah i was just to... wondering you know whether or not these stones being in close proximity to each other you know, would cause like Armageddon or something. I don't know. <laughs> so uh, at least we know that they're safe to be kept all together in one place. 
Yeah, I don't think so, but now, keeping them together is that keeping them together is absolutely fine. Keeping them together in a bag of holding is is equally harmless. We did oh. it at the time. Okay, that's uh, okay. That's great. Hands. That's what we're worried about. <laughs> Having said that, if all eight of them were to be used at uh, used to their fullest extent at the same time with a with a singular directed purpose, mm. uh. Either a cataclysm or a miracle would happen. Yeah, let's let's try to avoid the cataclysm. Agreed. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. I think we can all agree on that one. We don't want to undo what we've been doing. <laughs> let's just put it this way. Uh three of them used at the same time leveled a leveled an entire mountain. Oh, good grief. Hold. Oh. Um, hmm. I hate to see what wind, what lightning, and water could do all together. That's like the ultimate combo. <laughs> well... As you explore and sort of try to plumb the uh, the crystal's knowledge and they reveal their uh, abilities to you, you may find that those are, that such uh, things are absolutely necessary. Excuse me for just one moment. I have to use the bathroom. Yes, I shall be right back too. Hey, break. <laughs> Seriously, this is just awesome. It's like, it's sort of like the Dragon Balls and the Infinity Stones put together. That's immediately what it reminds me of, is the Dragon Balls and the Infinity Stones. And yeah, let's not use all eight of them at once. That first requires all eight of them. Well, he, she said it can be a miracle or there's the or there. So. Hey, Mom. Group on the D&D party. Hello. Okay. Hi. Good night, guys. Good night. Sleep good. Have a good D&D session or whatever. We are. <laughs> you have to tell me about it tomorrow. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I think we. Will. Eventually, I will get to join you guys. Yes. It'd be exciting. <laughs> there we go. Apparently, I never adjusted my offhand for. The new proficiency bonus, or not my offhand, the reason, my melees. The reason why I'm saying that the issue we want to avoid that. The reason why you want to. The reason why I say avoid using all eight of them at once is because of that whole ca either the cataclysm or the miracle. Oh, Let's yeah. try to avoid that. Well, we want the miracle. We just don't want the Armageddon. Yeah. And out of character, try to imagine all life as you know it stopping instantaneously and every molecule, every molecule in your body exploding at the speed of light. You're talking to an elemental, you know that, right? I would understand it more than anybody else. <laughs> Especially being a druid. I would, Why yeah. are you quoting Ghostbusters, uh, Junkyard? <laughs> I was quoting it out of character. Re referencing the whole I using know. all eight. I know. Yeah. Or junkyard. Bleh. Sorry. <laughs> but yeah. yeah. My character would definitely know that. <laughs> Especially <laughs> with my 20 wisdom 
<laughs> yeah. So. Aaron, you've been, uh, or I should, Pat, you've been relatively quiet. I assume Retro's still in the restroom. He mm -hmm. is. Cool. You're the one I'm, uh, Pat, you're the one I'm, I'm always having, uh, a little bit of a hard time reading as to whether or not you enjoy <laughs> it. Oh, I enjoy it. <laughs> okay, good. This is awesome. And I was thinking more about those stones. They kind of remind me of both the Dragon Balls and the Infinity Stones put together. Again, not remotely <laughs> what they, uh, where they derive any of their inspiration from. Unless they're based on Captain Planet. Ow. <laughs> okay, I I guess I can kind of see where you're going with that, but no, no. <laughs> uh, if if you were going to compare anything to where I got the inspiration for these things, it would be a bizarre hybrid of. Sonic the Hedgehog. Ooh, Sonic. Oh, the Chaos Crystals. The Chaos, Chaos Emeralds. Emerald. Chaos Emeralds. Chaos That's Emeralds. there. Coupled with a bit of however you want to slice it, Ronin Warriors or Sailor Moon for spice. Ooh, an anime. I haven't seen it, but I know yep. Sailor Moon is an anime. Anyway. Notice there's a little... Is there an air? No. Just thinking? I was actually trying to look up a... Uh, the inspiration that I drew for what uh, Bordan's weapon now looks like. Mm. I'm thinking the Buster Sword. No, not actually. Kind of like... Also, are we wrapping up soon? Because one of my friends wants me to watch Robot Wars with him. Uh, we'll probably finish off at about 2 p.m. like normal. Um, uh, AM. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> AM. Apparently, I'm rather tired. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that'd be a hell of a session. I've done it. <laughs> I have done it. What? Beginning at 11 and wrapping at 2? Beginning, well, I've done like noon to midnight. I've done. Two to two. <clears throat> so about that, guys. No worries. So this is actually a sort of where I drew the inspiration for your. Uh, oh yeah, your sword for your great sword, Bordan. Oh, in that looks cool, dude. That is awesome. It doesn't have, <clears throat> it doesn't have the hook in the front. But it does that, have, you know, that grip above that, the, uh... That is nice. Yeah. 
in black obsidian as well. Yep, you told me black is your favorite color. Indeed. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, and like I said, no one panic over the next few... It may take a few levels, but everyone's going to have one of these. Awesome! <laughs> yeah, and let me tell you, it's a freaky dream. <laughs> and uh, I'll say this, I think the, uh, probably the next one to get one will be Perrin, and I am particularly fond of... Uh, particularly mm. pleased with how yours is coming along. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Shall we get on our adventure? Uh, uh indeed. One thing I'm a little like, I was actually thinking about this. The stones if if they're in our possession for too long, do we actually have a chance that they will turn whoever uses them too much evil? Uh no. Mm, I doubt it. Okay. Considering Mira just said they, uh, several of her and her party members were able to keep them in their, uh, keep them in their possession for several years to several decades before they just disappeared. Yeah. Okay. It just made me wonder as as to where they, you know, knowing where they came came from, whether or not there was any danger linked the with them. Thing, the only danger linked to it is the cultists. <clears throat> Our little friends that we keep running into. Yeah. If they get their hands on them. Indeed. They shall not lay a finger on these. Yeah. Over my dead body. Nestor <laughs> chimes up and says, uh, That's not a good thing to wish for. <laughs> not wishing it. <clears throat> that's more like a promise. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. Um, I have faith in this team. So at that point, um, you guys, uh, do you leave? Um. You've got a few hours before the uh, caravan leaves. Or the caravan leaves. So, what did you want to do? Uh, well, we... she said about speaking to the quartermaster. <clears throat> yeah, the quartermaster about. Yeah. So, do you think we should go and see him? Shall I go to the armory? Yeah, probably a good idea. Yeah. Probably a good idea. Yeah. All right. So you guys go. The uh, <clears throat> quartermaster uh, greets you, smiling broadly. Uh, right uh, as you get uh, as you get a few feet closer, you get whiffs of uh, you get whiffs of like soot. Uh, brimstone, oil, steel. Yep. Yeah. Um, because this is this is also an a working and active forge. Yeah. <laughs> the old blacksmithing. Indeed. So. Ah. Queen Mira said, uh, "I could expect you sooner or later." You were. What are you uh, What are you guys looking in? Uh, looking into. What do you uh, guys have? In... Yeah, show okay. us your wares, my good friend. He sort of looks at you, Bordan, shrugs, and says, "Um, this is a." Sort of a uh, working. Oh, never mind. Come on in. <laughs> everyone, everyone goes in. Yep. 
So yeah. there are a uh, there are several different uh, weapon racks and uh, uh, armor racks and mm. carrying basically any assorted armor you might want to uh, you might want to get your hands on absolutely cool place <laughs> yeah character I kind of wonder if there's any armor I could take well I think I only got leather at the moment Don't know you have like studded leather? I do. Oh, I just have regular leather. Yep. I'm actually wondering whether I can actually get myself like a ranged weapon or something. He, uh, the, the quartermaster says, That we can absolutely help you with. Ooh, yay. Ah, good, good, good. Let me. Maybe check out the weaponries too. Just you know, to browse. Um, they have several different, uh, extremely nice-looking uh, scimitars. <laughs> including one that. As you kind of look at it, it almost looks like the blade uh, flickers and blurs for an instant. And it hmm. sort of stops hmm. and looks at it. All right. Interesting. It's a, a very intricately made... Uh, it's a very intricately made scimitar. Um, and very finely crafted, but at the same time, like this thing looks like it could seriously cut somebody. Ooh. Be a nice upgrade. Uh, uh, it'd be a good sidearm for fight for close in fights. I do have a scimitar, but it's not as extravagant as this. It's also probably going to be pretty costly. Doesn't hurt to ask. Oh, how much is this sword you have here? Uh, okay. <clears throat> He's like, ah, you have a fine eye for detail. That is a scimitar of speed. Um, that will be well, fairly pricey. Out of character. I've seen him go for. Uh, I've seen him go for as much as fifty grand. Damn. Wow. But for someone who is so well received for the queen uh, by the queen herself, I could drop it to thirty for you. Oof. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah, sorry. Don't have that okay. much, but I'll, I'll keep it in mind. Good, sir. Okay, I'm actually looking... Uh, uh, how much? I... For... Yeah. Continue. Oh, go, God. Go, sorry, go mate. Go ahead. <laughs> That's a, actually looking at the longbow. I believe uh, is oh, have plenty of. Yeah, I believe it's about fifty gold pieces. For regular. 
a long bow which is a uh, Mudgett's heavy two-handed range 150 to 600 one D8 piercing it's out of character the 150 to 600 your range is 150 feet normal yeah. 600 with disadvantage all right okay He's like, I'll do one better for you. 350 gold, I'll give you a plus one bow. Mm. Not bad. <laughs> yeah. Okay, then. Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, I'll take the... So... All right. Mm. Let's have a look here. Let's do Meanwhile, uh, next one is over at the medium armor yeah. area. Just like that. We have a little bit of. <clears throat> Got anything? And, uh, yep. Master Ranger, we may have something here for you as well. Okay. Um, so, how would you feel about uh? He, and he gets a smirk, uh, Master Aaron, is it, I believe, Mira called you? Yes, it was. Uh, well, for Grand, I would be willing to part with this, and he presents you uh, a... <laughs> very uh he presents you like a well folded piece of armor he's holding it in two hands but it's kind of it is kind of shiny do you take it see it although i know four grand i cannot afford but still no one grand Oh, one? Okay, yeah, let's look at let's take a look at this. Yeah, Mithril half plate. Holy shit. Pool, nice. Yeah. Yo, Mithril, why not? And out of character, yes, that is actually very nice. I should say. I have to go and look at what it all that is again, but um, well, I don't think you can get much better than Mithril, can you? Well, in my case, Mithril, and I can't, of course, I, there we go, that'll work. Yeah, I don't get disadvantage, and I have better armor class, so that's a very good deal. <clears throat> and actually, that's what half plate, that doesn't even, no, no, that does normally impose disadvantage on stealth, but it wouldn't, because Mithril. <laughs> so... That actually is very tempting, and I will actually spend the gold on that then. Okay. Do you got uh, any medium armor that's not made of metal? As a matter of fact, I think I do. Out of character, druids do not wear any armor uh, that's know. metal. I know. We all know. I know this. Fear not. <laughs> I know this. Um, Just you guys know. <laughs> he's like, hmm. The best 
I could offer you would be some studded leather, but may have Uh, next or call it high or low? Mm, high. Drugs and says, uh, <laughs> within the price range, you guys, uh, I don't have much. The... The cheapest I could go for something better than what you've got would be four thousand. Ouch. Um. <clears throat> That's okay. I may have something else for you though. Nope. That uh, being said, out of character, now that ne now that Perrin is getting the um, mithril plate, half plate. Is it mithril half plate? It's, it's half not half plate, it's uh, breastplate. Breastplate, okay. Okay, that's still good. Yeah. And no, no, also... No, I'm, sorry, I'm sorry, I apologize. It, it was half plate. I apologize. I slipped up there. So, <laughs> mithril... It's a mithril... It's a mithril half plate armor. And I guess this means that Perrin is going to end up doing an equipment shuffle. An equipment shuffle. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. This the guy shrugs and says, "There is a free studded leather." All right, hang on. All right. This dude shrugs and looks at you, uh, Senku, and says, "What makes you think I don't have something for you?" <laughs> Senku gives a grin and says, "Sorry, just checking out the stuff." I, it's unfortunately, I don't have mithril for you. I do have uh, a few suits of uh, half plate I could offer. Yeah, I'm not the stealthy one anyway, so. <laughs> I mean. Yeah, like I said, Senku's not really a stealth character. Yep. I'm, his dexterity is... He has a three in stealth, but he's not really... Uh, he's not really built for stealth. He's, again, a battle caster. Indeed. Um... So... The quartermaster... Does that, impose, does that impose disadvantage on anything else, though? Not... As far as I know. What is it? Half plate? Yeah. Half plate. The armor is only d stealth, if anything. Yeah. They might sure. Have a I'm not a stealthy strength. guy anyway. They might have a required strength, but they only impose disadvantage on stealth. I mean, I have a 13 strength. You should be okay. I think after. I say the first one that has the required strength is chainmail, and that's a strength of thirteen. Let me look that up. And that's heavy armor. Yeah, I think you're better with the half plate because half plate you can <coughs> add up to two of your add up to two points of dex modifier. Yeah, the chainmail you can. Up to a deck or a AC of seventeen, chainmail's a straight sixteen. Before magic. Wait, a half plate for, is a DC of AC of fifteen plus decks of up to two. Ah, cool. So half plate would definitely work for me then. Yep. yep. The quartermaster looks at you, boy, and man. I could. Sorry. Sorry. Quartermaster looks at you, Bordan, looks you over and says, I feel like you're... I feel like you're 
abs or more armor than anything I could offer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you know. <laughs> I'm actually looking from actually rather than armor. I'm looking for the longbow we were talking about. Oh yeah. One, um, now a hundred arrows, I believe, would come to five gold pieces. Or we all, or well, we also have some that I currently do not need. As well. Okay. Well, I mean, um. For, Five gold pieces for a hundred arrows. I mean, that's pretty damn good. He shrugs and says, I can afford that. A uh, hundred arrows. Now, the longbow that we were talking about. Yeah. You said something to me about um, a higher level longbow for, what was it, 300? 50 gold I can get you a plus one uh, I can get you a plus one longbow that's a and how deal. much how much would that work out 350 gold 350 gold okay so and it would be the same as your great sword a plus one to attack and damage rolls okay so it's kind of stupid out of character that druids can't use a bows <laughs> you would think <laughs> them being nature they would have bows um do they, is it just, is it straight up they can't use them, or is it they just don't have proficiency to begin with? They're not proficient with them, so you can use them, you're not great with them. Yeah, you're not, so you will not get your proficiency bonus to them when attacking with them, unless you find a way of getting proficiency. <clears throat> That's just kind of Having said that, you kind of don't need them, because you have a better, you have better ranged weapons anyway with your cantrips and your spell. True. <laughs> but still, it makes no sense. Sen, I, I was saying, it's, you just reminded me of something from Dragon Ball Z Abridged. Yeah, well, <laughs> when he I references don't... that, his, when the quartermaster references that Bordon's armor, or Bordon's abs are probably more armor than anything the quartermaster could bring out. <laughs> That's exactly where I that that is in fact exactly where I got that uh, idea from. Oh my god, you could grind meat on those. <laughs> <laughs> I just love that. That 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 needs to be a reference here. One of the cultists just looks at for God's ass and goes, Oh my god, you could grind meat on it. Ah <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I don't <coughs> watch okay. Dragon Ball Z, so... Alright then, so let's have the uh, longbow plus one, 100 arrows, and I don't know if anyone's got this, but I think it might be an interesting thing to take with us, a climber's kit. A what? A climber's kit for climbing. Which I believe is 25 gold pieces. I think. That's it, they got it. Why would we need a climber's kit? It's better to have one than not need one. True. <laughs> I can hook you up with that, that's fine. So, all in all, then, that's 355. Plus 25, so, 380 gold pieces. You yep. know, regarding the, um, regarding the half plate, is that a 15 plus dex mod? Of up to two, yes. Plus the, in, plus the artificer's infusion on that thing. That, yes. So I guess I'll, I'll change up... Ratchet up my armor class up to 18, then. I'm not sure if yep. there's anything for knives or here anymore. <laughs> oh, there sure is. Looking, there I'm absolutely sure is. <clears throat> I don't know too much about what... all the stuff that's... You know, 
I understand, which is why I had uh, I had anticipated some of that. Um, and fear not. So he's uh, he then smiles and says, "I may still have something for the uh, for the casters." And I mean, there is half plate. Yeah, but yeah. is half plate a metal? Which, how much is the half plate? Half plate is seven hundred and fifty. Okay, I can... Wow, that's... Hold on, let me check that. Okay, that'll put me... Um, let's see, I have 2,710. So that would put me at 1,960. Yep. So, so... Which is, interestingly enough, when the space program really started kicking off. The quartermaster <laughs> returns... With uh, a wand uh, in hand that he presents to you, uh, Nexer. Oh. I check out the wand. You <laughs> you flourish it, and nothing happens. But then. You realize that as you're sort of flourishing it, it kind of has, it naturally guides your hand a little bit. When you're using spells that require spell attacks, uh, this uh, uh, this wand will give you a bonus to them. Hmm. Plus one. Cool. So, and it's weird. It's even sort of designed to where uh, you can almost grab it like a handle. <clears throat> um, and Sorry. use it sort of as a focus for your flame blade. Which is one of my newest toys. <laughs> that you that haven't yet, yet to you have yet to break out. Yeah. So yeah, you could actually like using this it like targeted attacks, like your primal savagery, um your produce flame <coughs> uh your ice knife. It won't help you with the like the the save DC spells. But your targeted spells, it will give you a plus one bonus to hit on them. Hmm. Also, one more How thing, Mr. Quartermaster. Yep. Oh. Uh, hold on one second, uh, Bordan. Yep. Uh, if you want that item, next, sir, it'll cost you 250 Sold. <laughs> 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 so that is a wand of the war mage oh should I, yeah should I put that in my stuff uh, uh, on like your fourth or I think on like your third or fourth page there will be items yeah yeah right there wand of the war mage plus one because they can go up to plus three Yep. They're the <laughs> traditional caster's magic weapon. <clears throat> okay, uh, and that was two fifty. Which point Nestor's like, uh I'll take one of those two. <laughs> Let's put it this way, that'd be something to have on oh three party members. Potentially. 
<clears throat> Sorry, I'm just kind of sitting back and watching as everyone else gets their purchases done. That's fine. That's perfectly reasonable, too. Um... Okay, how does the healer's kit work? I got them. <laughs> uh, healer's mm. kit is something that has uh, uh, ten charges. Uh, you oh, use one, I think it takes... Give me a second. <clears throat> the healer's kit hat is a Leather pouch containing bandages, salves, and splints. It has 10 uses. As an action, you can expend one use of a healer's kit to stabilize a creature that has zero hit points without needing to make a medicine check. Okay, I'll, I'll take one of them as well. Yeah, it could be useful in a pinch. Yeah. Right down, they have it. Yeah, which I think is five gold pieces. Um, something like that. Yeah, and, um, yeah, I think that's... See, one more thing that I'm going to take as well is I'm going to take the uh, 50 foot of hemp and rope. And that'll be me. Nestor, yeah. uh, Nestor has some rope as well. Oh, does he? Oh, right, okay, forget that then. Oh, I yeah, think I'm done, to be honest. Craft. He's, like, what, sorry? Rope is something that pretty much everybody should have. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll take some hemp and rope as well. The fifty feet of it. Good enough. So, I think that's just about good. Um, so, as it is now two o'clock, we are. Go uh, I am going to call this here. Uh, I'm not going to rule out the possibility for a follow-up session tomorrow, uh, yes. Yes. but I'm not going to say it's I, I, I'm, It's going to be very much uh, like a 50-50 up in the air thing, and it probably, I, you, we probably won't know until just a few minutes before it's about to happen. <laughs> okay. So okay. I would say, uh, I would I definitely said... say kind of plan on it. <clears throat> don't like maybe have have a contingency because unfortunately the next Thursday and Friday instead of going in at 10 I go in at 8 so mm. I have much earlier days but that doesn't rule it out especially because we didn't get anywhere near as far as I expected today although I should have realized that because this is your okay. first ever See ya. trip right, later <laughs> Um, so, yeah, uh, I know it's a little bit more of an unorthodox night with, uh, the, your, your shopping trip, but, uh, <laughs> it happens. you guys got kitted out with some good stuff. This mm -hmm. is so cool. <laughs> Thrilled you guys are enjoying uh, it. Plus, I'm just, uh, I in... love this game. I'm just writing me a uh, weapon in at the moment, me longbow plus one, and I'm s I'm sorry, the attack for that was plus. It's going to be your proficiency bonus plus your dexterity modifier. Plus one. 
proficiency one, and one. dex plus one. And then damage will be 1d8 plus dex plus one. And dex plus one. That's me attack. Uh, so you'll have plus damage. one to both attack and damage, plus your dex on both, and then attack will be proficiency as well. Right. Okay. Okay, fantastic. And if you need arrows, we have plenty of arrows because <clears throat> um, mm -hmm. Senku made my bow um, not need arrows. <laughs> yeah, well, I think we should have plenty You're of arrows. Be... That, aren't you? Oh, <laughs> yeah. We should have plenty of arrows, uh, arrows now, I think, because I bought a hundred of them as well. So you have 100 plus the additional 20 that I have, and I still have 10 more on the quiver I had been carrying. Exactly. So we got shitloads of arrows. Yeah, we have yeah, arrows. We do. <laughs> so we don't need to worry about arrows. For We're literally a time. walking hero. So far, if, if you it's imagine well, the you can somebody to a pink cushion. We're a walking <laughs> yeah. We could make a claymore mine out of arrows. <laughs> And that's not an exaggeration. <laughs> oh, and don't forget, if we need to open a door, we can't. I, I'm carrying a crowbar as well. <laughs> that, would, that, like, that actually might solve one of the problems I had been thinking, and that is we don't have a, anybody with thieves' tools. Yeah, yeah that, but that's, nobody that, is also proficient yeah. with those, so uh, yeah. Well, at I least with a crowbar, you can those, can't I? just go I to hell with a crowbar. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I thought. I like, thought to myself, what's the next best thing? I to hell with it. I'll get a crowbar. <laughs> this isn't Half Life. Come on, guys. <laughs> just go all gangster <laughs> on a chest. <laughs> yeah, because normally you'd want a, th a rogue with. Thieves' tools. Yeah. Uh, as an artificer, Senku is proficient in thieves' tools. Oh, he is proficient in them. Yep. And basically, I'm the one who bought something that will need them, and then he'd be the one that could use them. <clears throat> Give him an hour, and he can just make them. Yep. So, yeah, so you, guys like have, you guys have so many of your bases covered. It's not funny how well oiled a machine this party is and very from soon... what i understand you didn't expect us to be half as well oiled as we are no no i didn't but i should have given how good a team we are in storm chasers <laughs> <laughs> we literally we have, have redundancy for our redundancies <laughs> for the most part yeah um so, and I can literally just mystic up a set of thieves' tools or artisans' tools. Well, it, I mean, it's not the that... more important one. I love the perk, right fool, right, right fool for the job. <laughs> what the fuck am I saying? <laughs> right tool for the job. <laughs> I don't do that often, but when I do, it's embarrassing. <laughs> now, aside from that, I actually did whip up some a concept character for Looney Tunes than anything else. Mm. This is Tornado the Skunk. And you can already tell he looks cool. <laughs> Anyway, uh, Pat, you mentioned something about a pin cushion earlier. you. <laughs> yes, we have enough arrows to turn a turn something into a pin cushion if we wanted. Eventually, you're not going to need to because the inf m be before too long, the infusion that's on uh, your bow will be able to be transferred to uh, Bordans. <laughs> yep. Oh, your. Uh, I'm rather proud of how your web. Uh, I'm rather proud of how your stuff is coming along. Alrighty. It should you should be getting that in in two to three, possibly four game sessions. 
Okay. On how things go. What about Senku <laughs> stuff? You and Thunder are stupid hard. Casters are a little bit harder to come up with items for them. Yeah. You guys are stupid hard. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's, it's not your fault. It's the fact that I don't know whether I should make your guys things, you know, well. I don't know whether I should make your guys items weapons, whether I should make them, you know, a wand or tools or a set of armor. In your case, Senku, I just don't know. Because the thing with a martial character is you know they will be using weapons. It is very easy to be like, okay, they could use the weapons. With a caster, on the other hand, weapons might be useful. They might be a hindrance. Armor might be useful. It might be a hindrance. Well, a wand? Mm, what can you do with a wand in, in some cases? <clears throat> Other than we don't have enough wands of magic missile. <laughs> yes, my last campaign I was in, we had at one point, I think, three or four in the party. <laughs> because they just kept coming out of the woodworks. Yeah, and their wands of magic missile are boring. I want these things to be creative. <laughs> I want but... to find more weapons. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's like it's like honestly, there's so many different little ways you could go with it, and the, with the caster. But it's like most of them are like, are you really gonna need these? Because these could also be a hindrance. Yeah, but because hell, most casters don't really wear armor. Well, I mean, I got armor. Just I'm a druid, and I can't really do metal. It's there. They're super limited on their armor. <laughs> Yeah. The good news is we at least don't have a monk. <laughs> because literally a monk just goes, armor, what's that? And weapons, what are those? <clears throat> well, we kind of have Bordan as far as armor is concerned. Yeah. <laughs> because monks literally are another case of, I think it's wisdom goes to their armor class. And I'm ahead off. See they you guys. have better unarmed strength. See Later. See ya. Bye bye. See ya. Because yeah. literally all you do is just come up and start punching and kicking everything. <laughs> well, for them, I would make like a tunic that lets them do something unique with their key. Yeah. So, kitty therapy. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> Aww. <laughs> so yeah <clears throat> um, Perrin's probably gonna th the next one that's gonna be done uh, I don't it, it, for it's a crapshoot between Nexar and Senku but I promise you they're going to get finished <laughs> so and when you get them, they will be every bit as badass as Night Sever. Because I'm pretty sure by now, um, Retro has looked over the abilities Night Sever is going to get, and they are disgusting. It's <laughs> absolutely glorious. <laughs> Especially at 19th level, where it turns into a black lightsaber. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, nice. This Death and destruction. Yes. I've seen the black saber, which is like the rarest lightsaber <clears throat> in Star Wars. The dark saber. The dark yeah. saber. Well, oh, I to spice up Night Sever, I gave it some spell. I, I gave it the ability to perform some spells, like at ninth or I, I think at ninth level, it can function as though it's the focus for a vampiric touch. Wow. So, once per round it deals an extra 3d6 necrotic damage and heals Bordan mm -hmm. for half that. Ooh. <laughs> Ouch. Oh. Me I being excited. 13th, I think at 13th or 14th level it can kind of turn into a Mordekainen sword. 
So, and as a reaction, it can take an opportunity attack at 20 feet away. Oh, wow. Oh, God. And as an action, he can effectively throw it 60 feet. Oh, why the hell did I get myself a longbow? <laughs> Was that not happening for another, for like over a dozen levels? No, that's true. That's going to be so cool. Shall I use the longbow or shall I just throw my sword at him? <laughs> well, uh, ultimately, the sword will be the better choice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, mind you, it can only use these abilities once per day. That and the, uh, bow, the bow you can use as long as you have arrows mm -hmm. and. Yep. You saw the range. Um, there's almost no reason for you to use anything but a bow at range okay. if you are martial. Yeah. Because even if you have to shoot to 600 feet, which is very unlikely, most maps usually don't in, end up with you engaging at over 150 feet. Yeah. <clears throat> you, if you run into a map that's larger than that, Good luck finding one larger than 600 feet. <laughs> you could literally, in, mo in many cases, stand at the far back side of the map and just start shooting. <laughs> Never have to move. <laughs> Brilliant. They, but it won't do as much damage as your sword. No. Which at 19th level literally turns into a blade of disaster, as per the spell. <sighs> so you might as well... You're best off probably using, say, the bow at extreme ranges while closing, and then switching to the sword as you get closer. Yeah. <laughs> He's right. Um, yep. Now, Whereas mine... for me, I'm going to do more damage with my bow than my than any sword that I can mm. wield. Yeah. It will be wielding. Especially when you see the, the, the crap I've got in store. <laughs> oh, I can't wait for that. Oh, no. It sounds most intriguing. Yeah, I I think you're going to be singularly pleased. But I need to get to bed. I will be in touch with you guys tomorrow. And if I'm going to be honest, we're probably going to game. We'll probably have to break it like one. But I think we can get a solid hour and a half to two hours in. i got to put you guys into combat so you can explore your new toys. Yes. <laughs> yes. Let me use my new toy. Sounds, <laughs> Sounds good to me, Seth. Fantastic right. game. Take care, you guys. <laughs> Take care. And you saying good night. Good night, guys. Good night. Good night. <laughs>